Of course, we need to have a question about acidity. You cannot just talk about carboxylic acids without acidity. Now notice again, the carboxylic acid itself is the same. The only difference is what I have attached on the other side of the benzene ring or maybe what I don't have attached on the other side of the benzene ring. But the question wants the carboxylic acid that has the lower pKa. So just as a review, the lower pKa means that they want the most acidic. And if they want the most acidic, they're talking about the hydrogen that's easiest to remove. So we're going to analyze the group that we have on the other side. Halides, are halides activators or deactivators? Halides are deactivators. So basically this halide right here would be pulling electron density from the ring which will prevent this ring from donating a lot of electron density to the carbonyl. This one right here, the oxygen, the oxygen has two lone pairs of electrons so you can delocalize the lone pairs or the negative charges inside the ring so the oxygen is going to act, act as an activator. It's going to give electron density to the ring so this ring can donate to the carbonyl. This one, I'm going to put the hydrogen because the hydrogen can neither donate or grab electron density. So that ring is donating as much as it can. So in terms of these three compounds that I have right here, this one, the one with the bromide or with any deactivator, it's going to be the most acidic because it cannot give electron density to the carbonyl the carbonyl is going to require electron density from the oxygen and the oxygen is going to pull even harder on the electrons that's sharing with the hydrogen. So this one is going to be the most acidic, the lowest pKa. The hydrogen cannot donate or take electron density away so this one's going to be right in the middle. It's going to be less acidic than this one but this one right here is going to be, of the three carboxylic acids that we have here, it's going to be the least acidic. 